Sneaker Addicts, what up? It's your boy DJ Dells. We are live and direct. I wanted to go through these Kobe's that are releasing. We have spoke about it on some live streams, but I wanted to focus and just get right to the nitty gritty on these shoes that we'll be releasing starting on the 23rd, uh, then followed by the five time champs, which will release on the 24th. Uh, you know, there's tons of Kobe's that are just going to be dropping week after week. The big stage, as I was saying, the 23rd and then the five time champs on the 24th. And then we're going to have the undefeated joints. They will be releasing on the 27th. And uh, that's going to be exclusive, the undefeated ones. That's only going to release, from my understanding, over at um, over at undefeated. So the locations, and also they will be releasing, I think, on Undefeated's website, but I don't think they're going to be releasing on Nike's, Nike.com, Nike sneaker app, so I don't think that's going to be going down, unfortunately. Yo, what's up, GA Kicks? What's up, Sean? What's up to everyone in the chat? And uh, I hope everyone's having a good Monday. Good news, Pequeno Juan is rocking. He's not limping no more, you know, it, it, the tumor, it, it's growing, but it, it's not messing with him. So some good news right there. Thank God. And um, I really want these shoes. I really do. We're going to take a look at all of them. We're going to go right now over to um, the Nike launch page so we can really dig into all these shoes. And um, these are all going to be very difficult to buy, extremely difficult to buy, like, there's, <laughs> there's no way fans of butts. This is going to be a very difficult purchase. So good luck. Like, for real, good luck with all that. Um, I, I, I can't see myself scoring. I've had tough times trying to get these. But the big stage, you know, um, this is not going to be an easy one to get. I'm telling you now. These will release on the 23rd. Retail is $180. Uh, so, you know, they, they hiked up the prices since the last time they released, but these are really dope. As you can see, they're mismatch on it. And, um, it's interesting how they did the mismatch, how one side of that design is on the medial. It, like, it's, it's not like, you know, the design is on, um, on the same side of the shoe, you know, which is kind of cool. Cause when you're walking, you're seeing one design on one side and then the other on the forefoot, you'll see it on the other side. But then on the other side, you'll see white on white, you know, with the with the silver, with the gold hits. Excuse me. So um, it's an interesting take, as you can see right here. Let me know if you guys are thirsty for these ladies, too. Of course, are you interested in these shoes or not? Um, is this something where you think this is it's an OK pair of kicks or you got to have these? You're going to be salty as all hell. Love the details on it. I think this is really a cool pair of kicks. If you're a Kobe fan, a Lakers fan, especially, you're really going to want these. That's for sure. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to give you looks of it. You know, they're going to have this jersey, too. You're going to be able to get it with um the eight in the front and the 24 in the back, this limited edition jersey. Uh, retail is going to be $120. And this is going to sell out extremely fast, too. Like, this is going to fly off the shelves. Uh, and I'm, I'm not sure if this is only selling on Sneakers app. This may also be selling over at Foot Locker and East Bay. I think these may be on East Bay and Foot Locker. I'm going to update you more when we get closer to the release on my blog the sneakeraddict.com, which you should go to in the morning, every morning, whenever there's big releases, I always try to help you all out. And um, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Just a reminder, the, the thumbs up helps so much. And uh, let me just throw everyone up on that screen. Jay, what's up, my guy? Clint, what's up? What's up? He said, finally got my top three fives. Got it for goat from GOAT for $237. Was that total price or was that... um? Not including ta um, the shipping. Let me know. Was that everything? Two thirty-seven the total, or two thirty-seven plus shipping? Curious to know. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Don't forget, we do have super chat and cash app. PayPal's in the description box. Goes such a long way. But yeah, I I really like this jersey, man. I'm gonna try to get the jersey. That's for sure. 
uh, and that's going to release on the 24th. Okay. And I will, you know, when I get a chance, I will actually just put the links to all of these shoes in the description box below. So you can just come back to this video. Actually, now that I'm thinking about on the morning of the releases, just come to the video, look underneath the screen in the description. I'm going to post all these links for your convenience. So, um, yeah, these right here, I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for every single Kobe thing that's releasing, uh, just cause yo, Kobe's my guy. I'm a big fan of Kobe. So these will be releasing on the 24th right here. The five time champs dope. You know, I, this is my least favorite out of all of them, but I, but I do love them. You know, um, I'm a big fan of Kobe shoes. Like, and, um, the proof is in the pudding. You can see all the reviews I've done for the past 10 years. So I'm no back. Um, you know, a bandwagon guy. Like I, I really loved Kobe's shoes, especially this model right here and the six. The six is my favorite. Uh, but yeah, if you're a Lakers fan, I mean, you know, this is the one right here. You got the Laker colorway going on here. So um, these will be releasing once again on the 24th for $180. That's how much these will be running you. And then we also have these joints right here the EYBLs, which will release on the 29th for $180. These will release for $180. Cool colorway. I'm digging them. And um, the five is a great shoe. I'd like to go through the size as far as the sizing for these, just to give you a heads up on the shoes. And then, of course, we have the Undefeated, which I think the Undefeated is only going to be on Undefeated site because we're not seeing it on here. Um yeah, I don't see it on here at all. So I think we're a shit out of luck unless we are, we have some luck on the undefeated site. So, um, you know, good luck with all that. You know, we have this Jordan that will be coming out shortly, uh, very soon on the 22nd. Um, how we feel about these? Let me know in the comments. Let me know on the chat. Are we buying these? And we'll do the sneaker of the stream in just a moment. Uh, I think we're a little over the five minute mark. But um, we will get to that momentarily. Uh, let's see what everyone's talking about up in here. Yeah, what's up with the Bruce Lees? I'm curious about that too, man. It's weird we haven't got into those Bruce Lees yet. Uh, Performance-wise, Kobe's are amazing. Played in the fives years ago. Had the navy and white joints. Dope. Those undefeated joints go hard. Thanks for all this info, Dells. No, no problem. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to help you all out. That's what we do here. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. Show that love, please. Josh says the purple and gold ones um, that come out on Monday are fire. Yes, they are. I, I totally agree. Um, let's see. You going for? I'm going for all of them, bro. I'm going for them all. Huge Kobe guys. I'm going for them all, without a doubt. Um, I mean, you know, if I score them all, then that's what's up, dude. I'm I'm not playing, man. So let's um, get to the sneaker of the stream. I'm going to treat you to two pairs of shoes, two pairs of shoes for this stream. Um, this is a pack, and this was the Aston Martin pack, the Aston Martin pack. <laughs> this is like some real serious heat right here. You know, you better, 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 better understand. We got two pairs of shoes, nothing but fire right here. You better bang that damn thumbs up button. We got to get a lot of likes. Let's get definitely over 100. And um, look at that. You got the uh, Kobe Bryant branding and the Aston Martin branding. And um, I paid over retail. I paid like, um, I think I paid four or $500 for this pack um, from a reseller on eBay. I really wanted these so badly because I I always thought that was the craziest thing, jumping over the Aston Martin like he did. Some people say it was fake, though. There's some people that are like, yo, that was completely fake. It wasn't real. Um, I don't know if it's real or fake, but I always thought it was real. And I'm just going to pretend it was real, even if it was fake, because it looks so badass. And, um, man, that's what I love about Kobe, man. He was fearless, man. He was a crazy dude. He, he had the face of an angel, but he was a crazy guy, man. He was so crazy. Like, he used to do all types of craziness. So, like, I, I love Kobe for that, man. And, um, yeah, so this was inspired by that, the Aston Martin pack. And, um, you know... He had a lot of heat over that because, you know, it was dangerous. Don't try this at home. But, yeah, man, if you've never seen it, when Kobe jumps over the Aston Martin, I think he's on the rooftop. He's, he's in the garage area just flying, right? And he just jumps right. And he was – I'm pretty sure he was wearing not this particular colorway, but these um, shoes right here. And the pack also came with these right here, these fives. 
which are gorgeous. Like the the interior is supposed to like mimic like interior and 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 of the um of the Aston Martin. You know, it's um it's a really spectacular pair of sneakers right here. Um, something special, that's for damn sure. And um, even on the footbed, let's see if I can take this out for you guys. Only for y'all, I'll do this for. So yeah, on the footbed, you see, it looks like uh, it's supposed to mimic, you know, the mats on the ground, on the footboard, you know, on the floorboard, excuse me. So um, really cool, man. These these are epic, epic in the collection. I, I love these. Mwah, I love them. Mwah, I love them. Love them. Love them. These these are really cool. Um, so. I thought that it would be fun to show you um, something special because I think these are really special from my Kobe collection. And I have a Kobe collection video. Check out that video. I'll try to put pop-ups when I get a chance. Or you can just search DJ Dell's Kobe Bryant collection. Check out that video. It's worth your time searching for it. It was really an awesome video. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Rest in peace to Kobe. Um I just want to get to everyone. Let's throw a photo up in here. Let's see. I was able to get good, three good Kobe's off East Bay. Dope. Um, you see uh, uh, Travis Scott wearing the PS5s. No, I didn't see him. I, I don't really follow him like that. Like, But I, I like, you know, I like his music. He kind of, I got kind of turned off by his wave when I bought that hat. And the hat came in all beat up and it was just crappy quality. I lost a little respect for him because he's supposed to be this fashion guy and he's putting out crappy um, clothing and stuff like that. I, I was like, yo, that's kind of whack. So I like, I don't really follow him after that as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely know MJ's playing it safe, man. He was worth too much money. He was playing the, being dangerous with the, um, Gambling, though, you know, the gambling was was kind of dangerous, but he but he was messing with. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah, dope shit. So um, are we going to pick up these Jordan 12s? Let me know that also in the chat. I'm curious to know. Um, really curious to know if you guys are, are interested in picking these up or not. And um, also in the news, a little off topic, but, you know, I mean. Hip hop is is something that really um ties into sneaker culture. They arrested the two guys that allegedly killed Jam Master J today, which is um pretty big news, man, in hip hop. I wanted to just just lightly talk about that. Um, so you know, the, hopefully justice will be served for the great uh, Jam Master J. That was heartbreaking hearing that you know he was murdered in Queens in his studio. But yeah, they arrested the two guys that allegedly, you know, took the life of Jam Master J. So that's a pretty big news. I don't know if you guys heard about that yet, but um, huge news. Yeah, it's about time. I think it was it was a long time ago, man. It was definitely over 10 years ago when this happened. Um, and it's just, it's insane, man. Um, yeah, that's right. Gambling is dangerous, man, especially if you owe money, man. Money will make you do crazy things if you if you are owed that, you know. Damn, I'm still start searching for that Aston Martin pack. Hard to find in my size and good condition. Yeah, um, I never wore these. You know, I just I just think they're so cool. I never wore them. Um, I probably should before they start like disintegrating and falling apart. But um, amazing pair of kicks. That's for damn sure. Passing on the twelves. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, rest in peace to JMJ, man. For real, rest in peace to that man. Let's see what else we got here. Don't forget tomorrow we will go live 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time with AEW All Elites. Let me just get this right. Scorpio Sky, he will be on the show. Scorpio Sky from All Elite Wrestling. 2 o'clock, you know, it could be a, a little bit later. You know what it is, man. Sometimes with these guys, um, celebrities, you know, um, you know, we working with their time. You know what I'm saying? So whenever – it goes down, it goes down, but it should be 2 o'clock p.m. And this isn't a spoof, a joke like we did with um, West Side Gun. That was just all fun. You know, the guy imitates him really in a great way, I think. Um, and if you didn't see that with the dude that imitates West Side Gun, you definitely got to watch that. He, he imitates him so well. We had fun. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? 
Yeah, and that's linked in the description box below. Just go to all the new videos and you'll see that. So these then will release next as far as Jordans. I think this is the next one. On the 21st, these will release. So this is right around the corner also. Um, I, I'm going for these. This is going to be crazy. I'm, I got to definitely sell a few pairs of shoes like ASAP um, because I, I need to not dig into the savings. <laughs> so I'm going to be flipping some shoes. I'm not even lying, bro. Because these are fire. I definitely want these. Well, these sell extremely fast. That's the question. Do you think that these will sell out extremely fast or nah? They're not going to sell that well. I'm curious to know your opinions on that. Let me know that in the chat. Let me know that in the comments. Yeah, um, ta uh, Tangerine Dreams right there. That's right. Um, I think that I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, Ricardo. I'm pretty sure. I would check, as I said, go to my blog, thesneakeraddict.com, the morning of all the releases, and just go to my blog, and I'll list all of the retailers with links. So, you know, if it's at Blue Locker, there'll be a link right at thesneakeraddict.com. So make sure you go there every morning whenever there's a release. It's there to help you out. So, you know, once again, everyone should have that bookmarked on their computer the sneakeraddict.com. Easy to remember. You're on the damn sneaker addict on YouTube. So definitely um, check that out. But um, they're selling out, of course. That's what Jay is saying. Oh, definitely. Within five minutes. I think these will sell out instantly. This is not going to be an easy pickup. Um, without a doubt. Without a doubt. This is not going to be an easy pickup, in my opinion. Let's see what else we got next. Oh, and as far as sizing... Everyone recommends to go up a size and a half. I haven't bought a women's sneaker in a very long time for myself. So I'm just going to run with going up a size and a half. And then you see 20, the 22nd, we got the 12s. And then we got these Kobe's releasing throughout the week. Um, let's see what else we got here. And then on the 27th, we have these, uh, which I've seen a few reviews on them. And they look good. They look better in on video. I will say that. but. I, there's so much other stuff dropping. Like to me, I'd rather have those laser orange threes versus these. I don't need to buy every single sneaker releasing. Um, I definitely, re um, I feel like I should have bought the alternate grapes. I'm, I'm, the more I'm looking at them, the more I'm like, I'm not going to wear these things. So I'll prob I'm probably going to end up selling those uh, because I'm not going to wear those. I'll wear them maybe once. So I'll use that money and then I'll buy another pair of shoes with that. So, but yeah, man, that's really all I got for today. Let me know what's going on with everyone. Um, yeah, Mr. Milk T saying to go up a size and a half. Yeah, that's that's what the recommendation is. Um, yes, like clockwork, the sneakerratic.com. That's damn right, right there. Um, but yeah, man, that's really what it goes, what's going down as far as sneaker releases. And I can't think of anything else to talk about. Um, I really like these shoes right here. But the price point is $350, so I don't like them that much because they're pretty expensive. Um, I see a lot of people saying that this is too expensive, though. This, this shoe is too expensive. Um, do you guys think that this shoe is – they're charging way too much money for it or no? I'm just trying to look for something real quick. Let me know in the comments, is that is that price point too expensive or not? I'm really curious to know your opinions on that because – you know, at first I kind of was like, yeah, it, it kind of um, is a little expensive. But then I'm like, but dog, they have the auto lace system, you know, with the it damn what got batteries in the damn shoe and, and LED lights in it. You think about it, Kanye West sells shoes for a little bit less than that. What were, what were the Wave Runners going for? I think they were going for about, about 350 right? So... I don't know, man. Is it is are these too much money, or is this just not fitting your budget? That's the question. Are these too much money, or this just ain't fitting your budget? Because think about it. It's auto lace, auto lace. Let's put this in perspective. I'm not trying to change your opinion, but I think the price point now that I really have thought about it, I think three fifty. It's not really that crazy i don't think it's that crazy of a price point is it in my range of something i want to come out of pocket with hell no i don't want to drop 350 on shoes i'm cheap man i'm cheap
I may make a t-shirt. I'm cheap. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, my friend. He says, thought you weren't going live today. Thanks for sure. I wasn't going to go live today. I already released the video earlier today. Check out that video. Um, you know, balling on a budget videos we're doing once in a while where I'm showing you sneakers for, you know, really affordable prices and um, those tight joints, those Nike tight joints. Check those out. I think some of you may like them. I appreciate the super chat, bro. Definitely. They're cheap for what you get. Okay. Yeah, they're normally 400 And um, three, as I said, I think 350 ain't that bad. I don't think that's a bad price for these at all uh, because it's auto lace. And I think that this colorway is pretty fly, man. You know? I think it's a dope colorway. Now, I know some people may not like them, but I like them. You know, everyone likes what they like. I like them. I like the translucent on the back, too. I think it looks kind of fresh. Matches up with the translucent on the outsole. I don't recall any sneaker where it had the translucent, like the blue icy translucent on the back, and then you have it matching on the outsole. Usually, you just have that ice blue translucent on the bottom and then that's it you know so it, it kind of i kind of like it it's doing something for me <laughs> and i think it even has a little little translucent up top by the by those little lace um stringy things that i think so or is that just blue i don't i don't know i'm trying to zoom let's see uh i can't zoom any further in but um i like them i do like them i'm not buying them but i do like them i think i think they're cool i think they're cool man uh, but as I said, everyone likes different. No, it's not translucent there. That's I was curious to see if it was a translucent hit there where the Nike is. It's not. Um, and I have tried these shoes on, and they're kind of fun to have. Um, this is a very tempting pickup. If it was like slow motion where there wasn't a lot going on, I would maybe pick these up. Um, if you're looking for them, I'll, I'll post some links in the description um, if you're looking for them. Um, but, yeah, I, I like them. I personally think they're cool. And I'm going to see what's up in the chat. Thank you for the super chat. He says, nah, I'm not a fan of this model. Don't, bro. I mean, you know, everyone likes different stuff. And as I said, I'm not one of those that's like feels like everyone has to like the same stuff as me. Um, but I think they're cool, you know. But they're not for everyone, you know. Um, but, yeah, I want to know not only do you like them or not, or but I want to know do you think the price point is appropriate? So if you want to add on to that, Mr. Milk T, please add on to that. Do you think an auto lace sneaker for $350 is overpriced or you think that's an appropriate price? Realistically, of course, we want it to be lower in price. I'm not saying I, I think that, you know, I'm happy that it's $350. I'm not saying I'm happy it's $350. I wish it was $250, right? I wish it was $200. Shit, I wish it was $150. But realistically, you're sitting in the corporate offices. You're the guy that puts together the price points. Do you think $350 is a legit price for an auto lace sneaker like this? Let me know that. I'm curious to know. Shout out to Mr. Milk T also. Thank you for the super chat. You keep doing your thing, homie. Let's see where we are. I like them too, but can't do it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of us can't do that. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> that super zoom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You can tell right back I said hi. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. I'm going to text them that right now. Oh, my God. Ryback is a character. He actually just texted me not too long ago. Shout out to Ryback. Check them out. Those Air Maxes are for flexing in the club, not 2020 problems. <laughs> Yo, these shits are clean, though, man. I like them, man. I like them. I like them. If some money starts piling down or something, sometimes I get a last minute job or something. I'm getting these, man. I remember I had um, Blue Chew. You know, Blue Chew, the ones that get your joint like this, they were a sponsor. They were, they were 
taking good care of me. I may have to hit Blue Chew up and say, yo, can we get some sponsors going again? You know, can we get some sponsors and I've got extra cash and get myself one of these joints. And I don't even care about the auto laces. I just think the sneaker looks dope. Shoot, give me these shoes without the auto lace and the damn lights going. I'll take this sneaker, throw some zoom in. I think there's zoom air in them. I don't even want the auto lace. I don't need the flash and all that. Man, just give me the shoe with some kind of laces, like real laces. I think this design is dope. Like, I just like the design. Shoeless says um, 300 maybe. Okay. I mean, yeah. But does anyone think that the price is right or not? See, some people, a lot of, looks like 300 is the price. 300 is what people want. It cost them $106 to make. It probably cost them probably $56 to make, to be honest with you, my friend. I think so. $250 to $300 is a good price range. I mean, for all this technology that we have now, the price of an auto lace sneaker is decent. I thought it would be more than $350. Yes, that's, that's what I'm thinking, Mason. Going to have foot cancer in a year. Oh, yeah, because you have to operate it with the with your phone, right? And we got 5G coming. People are saying that 5G is not safe. That's a whole nother topic. We'll be talking about that on my podcast, patreon.com backslash DJ Delves. You want even more content? The Patreon's uncensored, unfiltered, anything goes. And we got a lot to talk about a lot this week. Mo Kick says um, these are going to be in the outlets in the next month. I haven't seen any of these auto laces in the outlets. Have we seen them in the outlets in wherever you're from? If you have, let me know where you've seen these at your outlet. Like what town are you in? You don't have to even say exactly what town unless you'd like, but what state were you in where you've seen the auto lace shoes at outlets? And how much were they going for? Give us that information, please. It's got a low-key 90s vibe to Yes, it does. It does. Like, even the back, the way the vibe is, kind of like Tim Duncan-ish. Like, not exactly, but it just reminds me of it. I love them. I love them. Looks like a KD ripoff. Which KD are you talking about? What's up, HTX? What's up, man? Come through tomorrow, bro. I'm, I'm going to be interviewing Scorpio Sky here, 2 o'clock p.m. I'd invite you, but I got hit up by AEW Direct. So it's kind of like I'm working with the brand, with the company, and not him directly. Let's see. $10, not $10,106. Sheesh, I'm good. Make a little, sell a lot of Nikes for real resellers. KD7. Okay, I see what you're saying. The one that, that had... um. Like the one they had, the red one, right? I know what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Kind of. I'm not agreeing with you 100%, but I, I understand what you're saying. That was one of the dope ones. The KD7, the KD4 was dope. I think the 5 was okay, too. Okay, so the black ones were at Cleveland for 279 and being the worst, and you can buy them right now for two seventy nine on Nike's site. By the way, guys, not bad. Yes, sir. Yeah, from Cali, SoCal, uncensored. So yeah, we're gonna have that dude up in here tomorrow. It's gonna be a blast. Yo, Fly Ming, what it do? I can't lie, I'm addicted to what's good, Delzy. What's up, my friend? I hope you're doing good, man. I'd wear them with my West Side Gun hoodie. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Oh, hold up. We got to do it better than that. We can do it like this. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? <laughs> Make sure to watch that video. Just search DJ Dell's West Side Gun. You got to watch that video. It was so fun. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? You got to watch that, please. If you're a fan of West Side Gun, you got to watch that. Let's see. What's good? Cool, bro. That's what's up, man. 
All right. I think we're going to get up out of here. I'll do last call right now because um, I think we're going to get up out of here. I really don't know what else to talk about unless y'all got things to talk about. But um, salute to everyone up in here. Um, and definitely, please, make sure you hit these thumbs ups on these videos and share them. Because uh, YouTube isn't notifying or recommending my videos. Unless you're a lifer. If you're a lifer that's always watching, they, they will recommend. But maybe we could jumpstart this channel. Just share it on Twitter and Facebook. Show that love. If you're watching on the replay and I, I brought some happiness to your life on a Monday, I do have the Cash App, Real DJ Dells. Show some love. It's, it's much appreciated. We have PayPal in the description. Make sure to write a little something so I can shout you out on the next show. And uh, thank you to everyone that sent a super chat today. I, I really do appreciate the super, super, duper super chats. I appreciate you all. Thank you to everyone that sent the super chat today. I, I, I do appreciate it. And once again, for people that are just walking in, PJ is doing so good today. My dog, Pecan Juan, is doing so good today. Thank God. I had to go buy him some medicine. Um, at the vet, I had to go there, cough up more money, but he's doing good. He's not limping on the leg that got the tumor. And um, some people ask, why don't you just get it removed? He's too old for surgery or he'll die. And his, his energy is still right or else, you know, I would not be selfish and keep him alive just to have him around. He, he's running around. He's back to normal. So it's a beautiful thing. My boy is good. My baby boy is good. So I'm um, thank you for all your prayers and all your thoughts and watch more videos here. We got so much dope stuff and I hope to see you guys tomorrow at two. I know it's a funny time because some of you guys are working and, and everything like that, but come back and watch it. And um, we also will be reviewing the Air Jordan five, the alternate Bel Airs. I should be getting them in the mail. So we'll, we may do a live unboxing later that night. Or, we, may, you know, I may do the live boxing. I will do the live unboxing actually here. So everyone right now, go subscribe to this channel because I don't want to bury that, that interview. So subscribe to this channel, The Dell's Show. The Dell's Show, it's on the screen. Subscribe there right now if you're in here and turn notifications on and we'll do a live unboxing tomorrow, my, my first view of the shoe. That will be on the Sneaker Addict around this time, okay? Maybe even earlier. So make sure you subscribe here because that's where we will do the Bel Air video tomorrow because we have a video during the day. Unless for some reason it doesn't work out with that interview. So subscribe there, please, everyone, so you don't you don't miss out. Ring the bell and um, Fly Ming, you keep doing your thing, bro. <laughs> Jay, you keep doing your thing. Everyone up in here, you keep doing your damn thing because your boy Delzy loves you, believes in you. And I'll see you manana. We out of here. Bang the thumbs up. Write in the comments. We watch on the replay. I love pizza. And we out.